What's up, Libra? This is Soul here. And Libra, this is your September uh, reading messages uh, regarding love and relationships. Uh, the reading will be for, and the messages will be for Libra Moon and Libra Rising as well. I mentioned in uh, Virgo video, um, you know, because I've been getting uh, comments and people asking whether or not these readings are for sun. Generally, these are the sun. Uh, readings for your sign if you are as I gave an example in their uh, video if you are a Taurus sun then if you have a moon in Libra or some sort of rising sign in Libra then this reading is for you so I hope I you know I thought I ex explained it but it, apparently uh, people just aren't getting it and I'm not you know whatever say that you know my viewers aren't um, you know comprehensive but um, I, I don't know what's going on but this is the best that I can do anyway uh, so new month new energy um, definitely uh, as I mentioned in my bi-weekly uh, videos um, that I'm incorporating the rebel uh, deck and tarot for uh, couples and singles, you know, the deck that speaks, well, don't really speak the truth, but it gets to, um, you know, it's just really blunt in terms of its messages. And however you uh, interpret or receive that, that's totally up to you. If you're offended, then I'm sorry, but, you know, it's just here for fun. Anyway, and also still incorporating uh, Vera Sibylla. One new thing that I'm trying here, and I'm going to see how it pans out or goes over well, but, uh, you know, as I always select these cards, uh, 10 cards for the general love readings, but I never uh, really, you know, incorporated the uh, bottom card. So the bottom card uh, could be additional information or additional energies. It's the shadow card. It could be referred to as the shadow card or shadow energy, whatever you want to prefer or call it. Uh, but what is underneath the bottom of the deck after I shuffle the cards and selected your uh, cards for the reading, uh, Libra, is the Page of Swords. So ironically, the swords are representing you. So this could, and it's in the upright position, so this could represent for some Libras getting you know, to the heart of the matter. It's getting to the truth. Okay, this is the card that always represents that energy for me, taking action or uh, beginning to take action and getting to... Uh, the truth or, you know, the heart of the matter. Okay, the pages are always about something new beginning. So I'm feeling that with the swords, it's, you know, have to keep it focused and related to uh, the, the, the messages at hand. And uh, furthermore, I'm not discussing any other areas or aspects of your life. So keep it relationship focused. All right. So let me get comfortable here, Libra. And so shall we begin all right so you do have you know i always like to see cups show up but you have a cup uh one cup and it's in the reverse position so but we'll get to that but the overall energy for you in the month of uh, september for you know some of you most of you relates to the three of wands in the upright position so this is this is a card this is a positive uh energy here you know things moving forward okay you think of it that way it is the three so it could also represent you know um a couple of things walking away from a relationship uh and it turns out to be a positive thing for you know you or someone in association with you or it could be just you know being involved getting yourself or walking towards or getting yourself involved in a love triangle now you don't knowingly know that but this is the energy that could indicate you know such but for the most part when it is in association with relationships um you have to think of it as something positively moving in the direction that you want okay i'm gonna leave it at that now what's crossing that three of wands here is and you know of course the three of wands represent uh fire energy so it could be aries leo sagittarius or you know exchanges with them directly or it doesn't really have to be four pentacles is that withholding not severely uh when the four pentacles shows up in the reading uh general love reading that's someone withholding uh, love and affection uh, towards you or you're doing this to someone else okay 
Uh, and it, usually in a reverse position, that's uh, extreme, severe withholding, okay? Uh, but someone is either doing it to you or you're doing it to someone else, all right? And that's because it's crossing um, that three of wands. Maybe it's just something that uh, needs to be worked on so that, you know, the relationship can move forward or positive, all right? Maybe there's some, um, you know, feel, excuse me, feelings. And now I'm going to use this as a connection here that um, there might be an attempt to withhold because someone disappointed you with the four of cups is showing up underneath the three of wands in the reverse position. <coughs> and, you know, the cups when they're in the reverse is overflowing of any, you know, um, liquid. So in this case, it would be tears. So but it doesn't necessarily have to be physical tears. It's just a disappointment or a letdown uh, when it comes to a relationship. That Four of Cups is um, a social card for me, so it could be something to do with uh, a social outing or social invitations. That could be Libra turning down someone's invite. Uh, this could be a date request, or maybe, uh, let me just jump ahead a little bit more, because now we have the Star card that's in the reverse, okay? And the Star card is usually uh, still good energy, even though, even though it's in the reverse position, and it represents Aquarius and that energy of yours, and then also as uh, Gemini, Gemini, male or female. Whenever the star card shows up, it's a social card too. So, hence that I said the Four of Cups uh, in turning down invitation. This could be the um, uh, social media thing. You know, there could be someone who's online dating. I feel that there's an, uh, you know, a lack of interest in someone who is trying to either communicate with you uh, through these social means. And it's like turning down, you know, an invite to uh, get to know each other better. But I feel that it's coming because I'm reading for you. It's coming from you towards them as opposed to um, them and their energy coming towards you. Also, this might explain the four pinnacles, you know, holding back on love and affection. Now, I say love, but it could be just a like for someone as well. OK, um, this star card in the reverse also is an indication that whatever it is, uh, when it comes to relationships, it, you know, hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled realize materialize when it's in the upright position. But when it's not and it's in the reverse, it's still forthcoming energy, but it may not be um, those things that are, are materialized or forthcoming in the month of September. So just keep that, uh, you know, in mind. OK, and it's not like something is not going to ever uh, take place. So I do feel, though, that this is related to online social stuff, online dating, online uh, you know, like Instagram, Facebook, where there's a communication going on with someone or there's a communication about to go on with someone. And then there's a lack of interest here. Someone is either trying to come towards you and then it's like, oh, well, you know what? Mm. And you're feeling the person out. You're feeling the person out just by a visual thing. Uh, and then also, too, in terms of whatever it is that they're communicating, something's turning you off here. That's what I'm getting. Some, something or someone's turning you off. Then the uh, king, which is your uh, energy, the king of swords, <clears throat> is in the reverse. See, that's being you know, indecisive and not taking action against, and usually I get something uh, related to a major decision. So it's got to be a relationship if you keep it focused on just the relationships. All right. So it's like, uh, and it might be, you know, again, related to another air sign or it's related to, this could also represent female energies, by the way, uh, or it could, you know, represent um, fire, you know, because of that robe you know the colors here on these um cards are so vibrant and you may not be able to witness that because of the glare but in person they are just uh, very vibrant and extraordinary anyway so yeah it's you <clears throat> uncertainty or there's some something that's going on that's you know possibly um clouding your judgment or uh, having to affect or impact a decision that you have to uh, make and it's related to a person now, that could be, like I said, conjunction, connection with this thing that is um, on social media, turning down. I just see something uh, related to turning down invitations or, or invites because this person, whoever is coming, you know, after you or towards you is interested in you. But 
I see a lack of interest from you going towards them. So that may be the case. Uh, all right. So the Three of Pentacles represents just a little bit of, uh, you know, energy of, you know, this card represents getting along and working well with others. Now, that could be directly in the workplace environment or it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be outside the workplace environment, but it's in collaboration with um, doing work. Uh, with others, but you're all on the same page. Now, when it's in the reverse position, that means that it could involve, because it is the number three, that someone is not on the same page when it comes to a uh, love triangle or a third party energy. All right. Now, you may or may not know about this third, third party energy, but somebody is either uh, in some sort of disagreement. Uh, it could be a, a direct Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female or not. OK, that's all I'm getting for the three of Pentacles uh, in the uh, in the reverse position. Yeah, see, now <laughs> to validate or confirm what I was just saying here, the card that follows that three of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. See the knight in shining armor, but he's not um, there to, you know, for someone to depend on. He's this is definitely a relationship. All right. And. The night, just to show you in contrast here, Libra in the upright position, this is card. Normally, I pick up a marriage or a commitment to another person. It's on solid ground, firm. Uh, that's what those pentacles represent, you know, security, stability. And when it's in the reverse, it's all of those things that I just mentioned. And uh, that's opposite. It's insecurity. It's um you know, the person not being dependable. Now, it could be directly their energy. And then again, like I said before, it could be just something that I'm picking up. And because it follows the three of pentacles, that that's, you know, um, something that may involve a love triangle. Now, the knight of pentacles mirrors the king of swords that's in the reverse. So keep in mind that uh, it's about, you know, some sort of major decision making or taking action uh, within a relationship that may or may not involve a, a third party energy. But there's something going on. Um, maybe someone uh, if I was just to throw in here for extra energy that, you know, if there was a marriage or, you know, something going on in the month of September, then uh, it either is you who is uncertain about proceeding forward. See, this is the working together, collaborating with another person or persons and it's in the reverse and it's in between these two energies here so i mean it's just an example and you know that might be a little bit extreme and it may not you know be something that's going on but i'm 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 feeling it and i'm picking it up so i'm throwing it out there to you so but it's uh someone that is um the knight of pentacles is someone that you can't uh, rely on depend on because it's more or less their energy as opposed to yours so it sort of like creates a problem for the relationship uh in general okay that creates that whole um you know insecure types of feelings these may be just based on feelings as well you know <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> swinging back here you have the emperor <laughs> excuse me that follows the star card. So, you know, at least for the most part, things are in order. Uh, you're in order of um, yourself as opposed to others. The emperor is Aries. So it's fire energies again. So maybe somebody is um, not sure about a fire sign or, you know, wanting to make a decision majorly about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, when it comes to relationships and there's some sort of uncertainty because you're not, uh, this is a card of not trusting yourself as well, okay? Because if you are able to trust yourself, then the king would be up in the upright position. So, and that's a lot of determination and certainty. And then you are, you know, standing there about to strike or take action. When it's in the reverse, that means you're, you're, you're absolutely doing nothing and, you know, you're allowing things to come into play to, you know, 
cloud your judgment or confuse your thinking. Uh, but I do feel it's something, you know, the king and queens always resorts or relates to something major. So keep it focused on relationships. So maybe it's uh, someone who has to decide something uh, about a fire sign. If there's a true fire sign and the Aries shows up, it could be an Aries. It could be other fire signs, but it could be all, you know, zodiac signs and its energy. But you are in control. This card is telling me that you are in control and you are in order having things or wanting things in control in order okay uh this is a card of authority it could also be um someone that i'm reading for that works in the uh you know law enforcement police officer it could be a judge lawyer whatever and that's the energy that i'm picking up um for someone who may be thinking about a relationship and those those persons working those um professions okay judgment card what's hidden in the dark comes to the light okay now maybe because this judgment card mirrors the star card um it could be just your own intuition kicking in do i i, I do feel though <laughs> that it's somebody that is going to be um turning um or going that extra mile that extra step with someone who there is an interest libra has an interest here but Libra is not interested at this time, okay? And remember, I said the star card being in the reverse position reveals that, you know, hopes, wishes, and dreams when it comes to relationships may not be, uh, you know, witnessed or materialized in the month of September, but they are still forthcoming. But I do feel that the judgment card um, is what's hidden comes to the light. So you may find out something about this person that you've been con communicating with for a period of time. And now this person might be trying to uh, throw in, you know, throw in those uh, invitations. And there's something about um, their energy that you may or may not pick up. Uh, that's not sitting well with you. All right. So interestingly enough that this uh, last card here is the eight of wands so you know the eight of wands is about news and surprises but keep in mind too that uh i always regard this card as being very you know somewhat positive but it all depends to what else is going on now underneath the uh night you know this is the card of good communications effective communication texting messages but it's always related to positive energies but when i get the eight of wands page of wands and ace of wands i say sometimes it could be very positive news and surprises coming your way or it could relate to those things coming very fast and it's not positive it could be negative so i do feel that there's uh just a message for one of you that the eight of wands underneath the knight of uh, pentacles something rapidly uh happening or changing with an existing relationship okay and that's the knight of pentacles in the reverse position that's what i'm picking up something rapidly changes within uh an existing relationship and that's just for one or two of you that i'm picking up not everybody all right so for the others, it's still effective communication, uh, receiving messages and sending out messages that are positive. Um, let me see what else. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. With the Four of Cups, the social card turning down the invitations and you know normally the four of cups in the upright is about you know tension being um you know drawn to you and, and whatnot but see there's a lack of attention um but i think it's just more or less related to uh turning down uh dates turning down invites uh for someone who is trying to either get to know you better or trying to get um yeah trying to get to know you and it's like a refusal on your party to entertain that energy. Okay, so that's what I have for you in this uh, part of the reading here. Now, for the Libra uh, singles, you know, the Rebel deck, I have selected a card for you. And what it says is two messages to these cards. The first message is, what the hell are you waiting for? It says, get that shit done. 
And on the reverse side, it says, if you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Okay, so whatever that means for you. And like I said before, these cards are very direct and blunt. And I, I love them because <laughs> it just adds entertainment to the reading. For the coupled li uh, Libras, here this message says, the first message is, shut the fuck up. Okay, on the reverse side. It says here, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Still love you. Okay. That's your messages from the Rebel deck. Now, from the Vera Sibylla, I have selected for you the uh, Sacerdote or I think this is the this could be an enemy or something, but it's the it's the Queen of Spades. This is if it's a spade is dark energy. So anyway, it's in the upright. So but let me just read to you what it says here when it comes to or regards to love In love. It indicates a relationship has lost its passion, but is firmly rooted in loyalty to the other partner. It also indicates an old relationship or an old friendship. This card also indicates emotional detachment and someone who is in control of their emotions yeah, someone who is in control of their emotions. It can, however, indicate coldness and detachment in love. Now, remember I said, um, the King of Swords in reverse could also indicate emotional detachment when it comes to relationship. But I also said, too, the Emperor showing up here is the, in control. Okay, and they did mention that. In this uh, message here, this card also indicates emotional detachment and someone who could be in control of their emotions. So that's what I have for you for Vera Sibylla in the upright. And normally, um, if you can see here, she has a cape and it's like she's protecting something or hiding something. So that could be part of um secrecies or secrets she doesn't want to reveal something that she's hidden in the cape and if that's the case keep it focused on you know love and relationships nothing else all right all right so that's what i have for you libra um again i want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month of september full of love and light emphasizing safety as i always do until i talk to you again libra please be well bye